welcome back to Crafting with Kay. Today, I'm going to show you guys how I personally um, hoop and float my kids' onesies and my kids' shirt. So let's just jump right into this video. I have two shirts here. I have a three to six month onesie and I have a 2T t-shirt. I purchased both of these shirts from ARB Blanks. I will be using a four by seven hoop, spray bond, and tear away stabilizer. First, we're going to hoop the three by six onesie. So normally what I would do is I will make sure I find the center and I would normally iron it and have a crease so I can know exactly where the center is at. Then I would take it and I will lay it face down on my hoop. Once I place it on my hoop, I will slide it in position. And once I'm about to print, I would either lift the bottom and I will start the stitch underneath. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop my feet. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna um, do any stitching on this. This is a brand new shirt. I don't have a sale or anything, so I, I don't want to ruin the shirt. But you normally drop your feet and you will start stitching. You will babysit this to make sure that all of the extra fabric around it is out of the way. This is one way you can do it and have it stitch out here. Or you can go through the neck. So I'm gonna lift my feet. And I'll show you another way. Right here, you can either pull the neck back. People do it either or. I do it depending on the, the actual print or with the actual design. You can either do it this way, whatever is convenient and easier for you. Both of them works very well. I hope you can get a very good visual of what I just did. You can either go underneath, opening up the onesie and holding the fabric back. You have to babysit the machine and make sure that the stitch is not catching on to any extra fabrics around it. Or you can go through the neck part of the onesie where I showed you um, unbutton the back and then pull away the extra fabric and let the design print out on the front of the shirt. Um, some people take a loose the onesie and take the seams on each side and fold it back. And it's a very clean and easy slate. But I don't do it. I don't sew. So I would not do that. This is more convenient for me. And this is what I prefer. So I hope that helped on how I hoop my onesie. Okay, so now I'm gonna hoop the 2T on the four by seven hoop. I would prefer if you would make a crease with the iron down the middle so you can line your crease with the knots that's on the actual hoop and you can kind of have a visual of where your hoop and where is the middle of the shirt um, so I put the hoop on the shirt as you can see and I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my machine and I'm gonna show you how I avoid um, stitching the additional fabric around the shirt so I just slid it up underneath that 
underneath the machine. I'm just getting a feel for it, um, depending on how thick the fabric is. And then now I'm basically gently pulling the fabric from, around, from underneath it and around it. I'm hooping it, I mean, I'm sorry. I'm putting it on the machine, locking it into place. So once you have your shirt on the machine, you wanna just gently tuck all of the fabric from around it. And you just have an open, um, you have an open area for your shirt. And you're gonna have to babysit it. Unlike the six needle machine or the four needle machine that sits alone, you still need to babysit those also. But when you're working with a one needle machine, you have to sit there and you have to watch your project. Not one time do I take my eyes off my machine when it's stitching. It's very important because it can easily grab the fabric and pull into your project and you, you have a ruined shirt. So you really, really, really want to keep your eye out and babysit your machine, hold your fabric around. I'm sure in previous videos you've seen me with my hands near it or close to the needle. I'm very careful. Um, I would not claim to be a pro. However, I do work a lot on my machine and I do watch my, my stitching and my design. So that's all I can say for right now. And I hope this was helpful. I'm just giving you basic information that helped me. So I hope it helped you. And until next time, bye guys.